You're right, I spilled it. Yeah, for the pour. It was the first time I've done shots before doing a craft. And now I know the camera is going. Whee! At least you didn't like spray it everywhere like I did the first time I drank whiskey. Hello all, and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and I'm not actively drinking anything right now, but I did do several shots of scotch before I came downstairs. Um, and today, the craft we're going to be doing is just another acrylic Dutch pour, but I've been kind of curious about trying out different color schemes, um, some that are a little bit more monochromatic rather than bright and bold colors like the orange and purple one we did a couple weeks ago. So I have a few planned out, but the one I'd like to do today, um, think along the lines of like Olympic medals. We've got a gold, we've got a silver, and we've got like a, a copper bronzy color that I would like to try to do on just a plain white canvas. So if you would like to see how that turns out, please stick around. All right, so as previously stated, we're gonna be doing some metallics. I've got a gold, I've got a silver, I've got a bronze or copper color, and we're just gonna be doing it on a plain white base. Um, I have not added my silicone yet. I usually like to do that right before I start so it doesn't combine too much into the paint. And so we're gonna add that first, remove the popsicle sticks, and get this thing going. All right, so obviously our first step is gonna be pouring the white base down first. So we're gonna get that all spread out and nice and even before we add the colors. So I'm just going to do a, a dot in the center. No lines or anything fancy today. And I think I'm going to do gold. We're going to do it kind of in Olympic gold medal order. Silver. Bronze. Another gold. Some more silver. And another shot of bronze. Now we're gonna surround it with the white. And we're going to do our Dutch pour thing, blow it over top, and then we're going to blow it out. Heat it up just a little bit. And now, I'm gonna blow it up. There, easy enough. And now, I'm just going to use my mouth to kind of 
blow it out and give it a little bit more of a nice effect. Let's hit it with the heat gun first. All right. Well, I like that it's like, I off-centered the paint on purpose. So it's a little bit more up in the corner. try to I don't know blow it just a little bit to kind of extend extend it out to the two corners and then I think I'm gonna call it good because I like you can see all three colors in here we've got some cool cells but I would like to see if I can stretch it just a little bit more like to these two corners Well, I like it. I like that it's got subtle, uh, all three colors, the gold, bronze, and silver. It's got some cool cells. I'm not mad about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry. And when, we'll come back to it once it's all dried and glossed over. Here she is, all dried up and outside. I've got a couple cracks which I believe was from the Apple Barrel white paint. So that settles that, I'm not gonna use that anymore. But it looks super cool when the light hits it and you can see all of the metallic colors. So I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out. Well, thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. All of my links are down in the description box below for my Instagram, my Facebook page, and my PayPal account. Um, I still have some pieces available on my Facebook if you'd be interested in purchasing one. I hope you guys are all doing well amongst the continued COVID-19 madness, and I'll see you all for the next video.